Hello. Um, I've seen all these videos on coming out of the broom closet or if you're still in and how people's parents or fam other family members or friends reacted and their experiences with it with telling people that they were pagan or Wiccan or just spiritual in general. Um, and I just sort of wanted to talk a little bit about how my experience was. Uh, to be honest though, I've never really been in the broom closet. I've always been open about it. Um, I never even told my parents. They just knew that this is what I was doing. Um, When I was around seven or eight-ish, my brother, I saw my brother having a few books lying around about psychic powers and abilities and tower reading and witchcraft. And I would just look through them. Um, I would not read the pages, just look at the images, if they had images. And I thought that was really cool and I wanted to be like that. So, I guess that is where my interest into witchcraft and paganism started from. Um, and when we got the internet, when I was in my teens, I would start to look up witchcraft. And then I found out about paganism, so I searched into that and I found out about Wicca. Um, and there was no other paths coming up for me, just Wicca. And I thought, okay, this must be the path for me because I can't seem to find anything else. Um, so yeah, I tried to be Wiccan for a few years, but it never really worked out. But within this time, my parents thought that this was just a phase that I was going through. I would always talk to my parents about what I had learned, uh, whether it be about herbs or crystals or, um, I don't know, moon phases or something like that. I would just generally and openly talk to them about this. I never saw anything wrong with it. My parents never told us that if we go away from Christianity we're going to burn in hell or something like that. I mean when we were about four they told us all that if we didn't want to be Christian that is fine. If we wanted to find our own religion or not have a religion at all that was fine. They would support us as long as we didn't hurt ourselves or hurt anyone else and we were safe they would support us with that um so they never never really had a problem with it um and that's it really i've always openly talked to them i still talk to them about it they show their support by it uh, by buying me books or items they think I need. Um, they will do a little bit of research into th a certain item thinking that I may need it. Um, like the scrying ball. They did a little research to see what one might have been best and size and stuff or something like that and they bought me that one. Um, which is really nice. They don't have to do that, and yet they do, and it shows that they are okay with it. Um, I've always had an interest as well in spirits. I've been able to contact spirits since I was little as well, so I guess as well that is where my 
spiritual side, I guess, started from as well, but I never told them about this because um, I didn't know how they would feel. I didn't know what their opinion would be because they never spoke about it to me. Um, and I had no one I could turn to to ask about spirit and all that. I didn't even know myself until I went onto the internet and found out more about them. Um, they're still a bit iffy about that side because they don't know what to believe in, which is totally understandable. My mum would love to believe, um, but she needs more proof to do so. She needs to have those experiences herself, I guess. And my dad, he, he's the same, he needs the evidence to prove that they do exist. Um, although he's had a few small experiences himself, he doesn't know what to believe. Um, which again is totally understandable. Um, but yeah, we just talk about this sort of thing every off so often um, we don't have a problem with it and I guess I am lucky to have a family that are okay with it and don't try to disrespect me by throwing away my books or any items or anything like that um, this is how they would you know taught to respect other religions and that's what they are doing taught us and yeah I guess we're just lucky to have that and um, something that my mum did tell me one time when we were talking about paganism um, she said that God created this world God created the land humans animals and everything on this land so therefore, he must have created pagans. And if he can't be here on this land to keep an eye on us, to keep us alive, uh, healthy and all that, then that's why he created pagans, to help with his land, to keep, to keep the garden nice and clean and fresh, as well with the is humans and animals. The pagans are there to help look after them. Now I know not every person who is pagan um, has an earth based path. Um, but I thought this was such a nice way of saying it. Um, she thought of this on her own and you know, it's just really nice to know that's how she sees pagans and that's what she, she thinks of them and that's why she'll accept them and stuff. Um, and when it comes to people, I know I'm probably rambling on, sorry, um, but when it comes to people trying to sort of attack my religion when my mum is around she will defend um yeah it's just awesome to have this support of the family and i don't know what, how i would have been if it was any different and i am so grateful i'm thankful every day that i have such a great family to um have support with but yeah, I just wanted to share my experience with how my family were with me um, and that's it.